Hello YouTube. We got two coffee makers right here. We're trying to find the perfect coffee maker for our travel trailer, a Jayco 212 QBW. We have spent many hours trying to find the perfect coffee maker for our travel trailer. According to Specialty Coffee Association, you should be brewing your coffee at that temperature. Again, between 195 and 205. And in addition, we want to make sure that our battery bank and inverter could support the coffee maker. So hang tight. Yeah, let's get started with the bun first, right? And in comparison with the Bonavita, you just fill it with water, turn the switch on, and you could brew coffee. However, with the bun, you had to fill it with water first. First time you're gonna use this thing, you had to fill it up with water. Two of these would do. And then, still, don't plug it in, let it drain out, and that's when you know your tank is full. Hang tight. Let me go ahead and fill it with water. Again, this um, bun is not plugged in yet. All right, that's one. Close the lid. There you go. Second one, go ahead and fill it. I would say the tank takes about one and a half, right? And now, go ahead and put the uh, that underneath and that there. Let's go ahead and close the lid and any excess will go here. And then you're ready to plug it in. There it is. There's your excess water. Again, the uh, bun is not plugged in yet. We're just filling the uh, tank, the water tank, with water. And then it will actually take about one hour, okay, half an hour to one hour to heat up the water to that desired temperature. According to uh, Specialty Coffee Association, uh, you want to brew your coffee um, with a water temperature between 195 and 205. Uh, the uh, water tank is now full, so it's time to plug it in. And we're going to fill this up with two more cups of water. Here we go. Turn it on. It's drawing about 55 amps. All right, it's heating it up. 70 amps. Here's my uh, battery bank and inverter underneath here. Let me show you. There it is. <laughs> yeah. Not sure if you could hear it, but it's heating up the water. So I would say it's been about 15 minutes. So we're waiting for an additional 15 minutes. But once that sound stops, we're good to go. So sound just stopped and the battery bounced back rather quickly at 13 volts, right? So that means it's actually finished heating up and, um, and we could actually fill it up with water again. So I know you think that we filled it up with water already and now we're gonna fill it up with additional eight cups. Yep, that's bun for you. And uh, remember when we filled it up with uh, the first two carafe, um, that was just filling up the tank. Of course, we waited about 20 minutes for it to heat up, right? And now we need to add more water to it. And what's gonna happen is that once you fill it with water, there will be an exchange of water from cold going into the tank and the hot water will be going out. So your tank will always gonna be full. That's bun for you, right? And here we go. Voltage is up 13.28, 29. It's climbing rather quickly. Let's see the percentage, 91%. We did not go below 50% or 51%, so we're good and 13.32 volts it's not 12.1 or 12.2 so the um, battery bank is recovering 
my solar panels charging them properly so not bad 91% so it drew about 9% uh, 9% out of your uh, battery right or battery bank so it's time to brew this bad boy or we could wait an additional 10 minutes just to be sure that it is 195 to 205 water temp okay the battery meter we're back at 93 92.9 and we're ready to brew it has been quiet so i, I i'm assuming it's 195 to 205 degrees uh we got our coffee filter and freshly ground coffee let's insert this thing go ahead vanessa and now we need to pour water again eight cups i think right yep so let's go ahead and pour some more water. All right. As I mentioned, what's going to happen is that this cold water will go into the tank and it will now dispense hot water. There we go. Let's see if there's any more draw to it. Eleven amps, ninety-three point two, thirteen point six two volts. Yeah, battery system is healthy. This bun is definitely travel trailer approved. Now it's just a matter of um, you know the taste. Yeah. So the inverter, three thousand uh, watts inverter, and also a one hundred forty amp hour. Uh, battery bank, yeah, can handle this bad boy. Look at that. Oh, look at that. 51 amps. Draw. There it is. Close to eight, uh, eight cups. smells good I think what's going on is the brewing process is really just drawing 11 amps but it's actually heating up I can hear it it's actually heating up the cold water that just went in so that's that 52 amps 53 amps I won't be surprised if it climbs up 70 uh, 72 again and open this up go for it One seventy one, one seventy four. Come on, baby, climb up. One seventy six. We just finished brewing the uh, coffee from the bun. It's time to plug in the Bonavita, right? And push the uh, battery bank to its limits. All right, let me plug this in. There you go. Plugged in. Next up. The Bonavita. Excellent. Okay. Take a look. Seventy two amps for the Bonavita. 65, 72 amps, take a look, 73, 74, that thing is drawing more amps out of the uh, battery bank, take a look at the percentage, 12. you don't want to go below 12.2, 12.1. Yep, I hear my inverter's uh, fan kicked on. 78 amps. So 
So far, so good. Almost there. That was it. Beautiful. Take a look at that steam. Back to back. After the bun, we immediately ran the Bonavita and the, uh, the battery bank and the inverter held up rather well. Let's take a look. Wow. Percentage. Whoa. Look at that percentage. Down to zero. Did it do a reset? I have 12.84 volts, so we're okay. Draw any amps, 12 amps. That's strange. But, should be in good shape. What was the uh, bun? 176. Oh man. Bonavita is hotter. 180. Just for that, go for Bonavita. That is awesome. Well, just if if you're gonna go by the temp, right? Temperature, I say Bonavita is a uh, real winner right here. You have a nice day. Oh boy. All right, this is the Bonavita. I know you take yours black, but okay. But I like mine with uh, creamer. Oh man, Bonavita takes it for me. Definitely Bonavita is the way to go for me. Hotter coffee. Oh yeah. Mm. And of course, Bonavita will draw more juice out of your uh, battery bank, right? And uh, put a heavy workload on your inverter. Can I just make one comparison? Yeah, sure. Uh, if you're traveling with a travel trailer, when, in your travels, just keep in mind, you have to, you can't, it's up to you with how you keep redoing the water yeah replenishing, replenishing it versus it. just pouring water onto this thing yeah and it's good to go right and away the nice thing with the bonavita is it this is supposed to give the feel of a hand pour coffee oh, so that's true. it heats up really really high and this just sits on top of the craft and you get that hand pour and it opens the beans um really nice nice Which i actually like the bonavita I know uh, bun is very popular though, but maybe this model uh, didn't heat up the water um, as much. But either way, yeah. Bonavita takes it from me. Oh, Bonavita wins for you too. Mm -hmm. All right. All right, I guess Bonavita for us, for our travel trailer. That was easy. Also, added in a creamer for both coffee. Yeah. This here is the Bonavita. Look at the color difference, and this here is the bun. Wow. So this is using French vanilla. This is using half and half, half and half um, French vanilla. Wow. Just a little bit more flavor. Well, there you go. Thank you so much for watching. I do appreciate it. Don't forget to click subscribe. Click that notification bell. Um, yeah, I say Bonavita, you know, wins. Uh, yeah, you know, it's it's... It's, I think both are great coffee maker, right? But uh, for us, also, if you think about it, for travels and the bumps that your uh, travel trailer uh, takes, um, this is the glass, and this one is the um, stainless steel carafe type, and you don't have to worry about it breaking as much as the uh, glass one. But anyway, 
uh, up to you. And of course, it's very, um, what do you call that? There's a term for it. Um, you may have your biases and, and of course, uh, partial on whatever it may be. But bona vida for us. Oh, that's what I meant to say. It's very subjective uh, in terms of what works for you. You know, I drinking, I'm, I'm going to change subject real quick, like drinking wine, right? People say, oh yeah, this is the best because it's pricey. Get the wine that tastes the best for you. you know, forget about those critics and so on. Uh, get the best coffee maker for so, you. So anyway, thanks again. Chat with you guys later. Bye for now. With Bonavita, you do need to, um, it would be good to put the lid back on so that it pours up nicely in your cup. Yep. But I must admit, one thing with the Bonavita, the lid is a little hard to screw on. It has to be perfect, right? Yeah, Align it does. perfect. It, it does. So don't force it. If it doesn't line up, just try again. There you go.